Thank you very much, but I have to go. Hmm. What about Anna? She could be here any minute. Too bad. I didn't see her, but I have to go back to work now. I appreciate your understanding, and I want to apologize again for that incident about money. To tell you the truth, we were shocked to learn about Anna's actions. But let's not dig up the past anymore. Anna's pregnancy is what matters now. We have to make sure she doesn't worry about anything. The most important thing now is Anna and the baby's health. Yes, the baby. Thank you for treating Anna like your own daughter. Oh, finally! Finally! Hello, my dear. Hello. What are you doing here? Something wrong? Not at all. I came for a visit. I was just about to leave. What's that? Oh, it's a present from my colleagues. Oh, wow. So cute, like a real baby. So we'll only talk about babies from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, what did Dennis say about the ultrasound? Oh, I wish you could have seen him. He was so happy. He really enjoyed listening to our baby's heartbeat. Oh, will you show it of to me? Of course I will. Let's go. It's in my laptop. Anna, are you hungry? No. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Just let us know when you are. Jenna will cook something healthy and tasty. <laughs> you will like it. Thank you. Let's go, Mom. I am so happy for you, darling. Are you happy? Almost. Why so? Because I have other goals I want in my life. <laughs> what is it that you're missing? A wonderful husband, a cozy home, a rich life? And soon you'll have a baby. Others may be okay with that, but not me. There will always be something to strive for in life. Or just appreciate the things they have, don't you think? If you allow yourself to think like this just once, then you've already lost. Losers don't let themselves have more. I deserve to have much more from this life, and I will take it. It's my right. A housewife is not for me. I am different. I don't understand why you still don't realize that. Are we there yet? Stop whining. It's just a block away. We're near. Come on. Oh, damn! Stop! Freeze where you are! Hey, you! What about my money? Hey, dude! Wait, stop! Hey! Did you hear? Hear what? About the new host of my fortress? What about? They got someone to replace Mrs. Dobrovolsky because she's on maternity leave. I already know that. And the guest? Did you call the office? I was about to. Mm -hmm. Lilia, you look fantastic today. Only today? No, you always look great, but today there's something different. Thanks, Halia, dear. By the way, I wanted to get your advice on something I'm working on. I like to do an interview with that famous singer next week. I can't tell you his last name right now. I heard that he was... your people? <laughs> what do you mean, my people? He's a drug addict and went to rehab just like you. I understand that you've recovered successfully from this, so what I need for the interview is for you to fill me in with the details. What a person feels during withdrawal, how your condition changes throughout the treatment, what you worry about, and so on. Will you help me with that? Yes, but... 
I've recovered from this a long time ago, so I've already forgotten how it was back then. Nalia, I'm aware it's a sensitive issue, but you did an excellent job having gone through all that. Maybe you will be able to tell me something interesting. And of course, I'll make it up to you. Carolina and I are good friends, you get it? You don't want to be a makeup artist forever. <laughs> no. That's great. I'll put in a word for you with the management. Thank you, and I'll try to remember something interesting. Thank you, beautiful. Don't touch me. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why are you scaring me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is for you. I see you have too much free time, huh? I don't understand. Work instead of wasting your time in a flower shop. I was only going for five minutes. Go on and slice cucumbers and tomatoes for the salad. Miss Ma'am. I don't really think that my son can be the reason for our breakup. What does your son have to do with it? You know perfectly well that it's not about him at all. It's your lies that killed everything. Lube, I already explained it to you. Tell me how... How else can I tell you about jail? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to lose you. Hmm. A criminal and a liar will always and forever stay a criminal and a liar. How many times do I have to explain it to you? I was in jail because of a stupid mistake. Let the past remain in the past, all right? I wonder what your son thinks about you keeping this secret from him. Is he happy about it? <laughs> My son understands this. He has a heart of gold. I see. And you? I'm a fool. Petro! Petro, please help me! What is it? I don't know. Petro, you're going to regret it. Petro, help! Hey, Petro! Uh! Petro, what do you help think you're me, doing? Please. I'm conducting an arrest. Well, it's not disco dancing. Ah! What did he do? He was running and came in here. It's under control. Please stay. We're leaving Let me soon. Go. I'm no criminal or a Sit thief. Here. I didn't steal anything. Uh -huh. I didn't steal anything. Listen to me. They gave me the money themselves. And you couldn't refuse, huh? I'm no criminal. I didn't kill anyone. Shut up. You disgust me. I was told that nobody would go to the police. Who told you that? Uh, uh. Well, don't look at me. I'm taking you to the Dobrovolskys and let them decide what to do with you. Got it? I'm not going anywhere. Yes, you are. All right, all right, I'll go. Got uh, it? Let me go. Hands. <sighs> I won't run away. Ow! Let's go. Oh, oh. Petro, Petro. Sorry for the mess. Let's go. He came here for you. That crazy friend of yours came here to see you. He scared the customers away. A criminal will never change. Did they pay? Thank you. Well, thanks a lot for taking me to the dinner. You stay where you are. Do you know that lying is a sin? Oh, shut up. How much will he... Pay you for me, huh? We'll find out in a moment. What about the payment? Are you kidding with this? Officer, you weren't replying to my previous messages, sir. I hope everything is all right. I got him. I'll take him to your grandmother in an hour. See you there. Hey, I don't think this is enough, sir. Here. Oh, that's a different story, am I right? Feel free to contact me if Let's you need go. anything. I'll just be around. Thanks, everyone. Let's wrap up the shoot for today. 
Thank you for coming. It was a pleasure talking with you today. It was great, but it could be even better. I have a few ideas. Not now, please. Ruslan, what's wrong with him? Everything was fine this morning, and now he acts like someone from his family died. This lady must be playing on his nerves. Did you notice that? His breath reeks of cognac, huh? I thought the smell was coming from you. I've been sober for a month already. I'm taking yoga classes with my wife. Would it be possible for us to meet today, after the shoot? Thank you. You sound sad. What happened? You all right? Okay, we'll talk when we meet. I'm so sorry. Andri, you left so quickly. You left the amended script of the pages of history in my office. Still impressed with the sonogram? No, it just slipped my mind, is all. I'm going. I have a lot to do. I'll go with you. You're so strange, Andri. I still can't figure you out. I'm almost there. You ready? I'm coming. Damn, it's a 21st century, but the internet connection is still lousy. Hello? Hi there, babe. Victor! Did you miss me? <laughs> I'm still at your place, finishing my whiskey. You can join me. I'm still at work. Listen, you have a lot of different friends. I was wondering, you know, anyone who used to be a drug addict? Why do you need a drug addict? I need one for Lilia's next interview. She asked me to find someone for her. Well, she said it was for her work. <laughs> so now you'll be involved with drug addicts? Do you see what I have to deal with? And Anna even asked me to tell everyone at work that I used to be a drug addict and went to rehab to undergo treatment for this drug addiction thing. I even came up with a fake medical report. <laughs> This isn't funny, you know. Now, everyone is calling me a junkie, and some people are even asking for consultation on drug addiction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really think this is funny? I'm having a hard time as it is. Unlike Anna, who's doing just great. She's going to have a baby. You mean she's pregnant? And she's doing fine? What do you know? We need to have lunch at the Café of Mama Olia one of these days. Did you like it? I've already asked for a recipe. Oh. Hello, Ryori Markovich. Good afternoon. Thank you for your welcome. I really must go. Goodbye, then. You should visit us more often. Thank you. Good afternoon. Come on. Sorry for dropping in suddenly like this, without notice. Katerina Ivanovna, here's the thief who robbed you. Where did you find this guy? I saw him on the street, followed him to the cafe where his friend works, Petro. Then I arrested him. It's a real special operation. Petro has nothing to do with it. He doesn't know anything about my affairs whatsoever. I ran into that cafe by chance. Shut your mouth. You can tell your stories to the judge. No. I beg you, don't. I beg you. I beg you. I don't need a judge to tell me I'm guilty. I know that. If you are guilty, then you must be punished accordingly. Mom, and Zana, he needs to write a statement, a report for the police. I am not going to write anything. What do you mean? Zana? Please don't ask me to do it. Please, don't call the police. I will pay you back every penny. I won't run away again, I swear. From your look, I can't tell that. You don't work anywhere. I will get a job. I will get a job and pay you every month. I will pay you back, I promise. I promise I'll pay you every penny. Yeah, right. And that will take forever. Mother, what do you think? I think I'll let him pay. Yes? We can do without the police. 
Let him go. Are you sure? But if you try to fool me again, you'll be sure to spend your life in jail. Thank you. Thank you, I won't let you down. <sighs> Don't forget, you can't hide from me. I'll find you anywhere. I won't run away. I promise I won't. All right, I'll take out this trash now. Move it. Hello. Hi. I'll see Vadimov. Well, you heard what they said, back there. Another trick, and that will be the end of you. Now go. Thank you. You are a real hero. <laughs> it's amazing. You caught this bastard. <sighs> Wanna meet tomorrow? <laughs> okay. Where? We'll figure it out. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I'll give you a call. Bye. Aren't you going home? Yes. In about 20 minutes, I'll finish my report first. Did you want to talk to me about something? You called earlier. Mm, yes. I just saw Dennis and Carolina. I mean, I didn't just see them together. They were watching the video of their baby. I picked the wrong time to walk in. <laughs> Is that why you wanted to meet with me? Yes, my sister's incredibly happy. When Yana was pregnant with my baby, she couldn't. She didn't even want to see the sonogram. She didn't care about our baby. The pregnancy was a burden to her. But for me, it was true joy. You understand? I was so happy when I saw it. I thought we were going to live together, get married, and then have that baby. Oh, so now you're telling me you don't love her anymore. I don't. Don't lie to yourself, Andri. I don't love her. Uh-huh. But I will always remember that sonogram of my baby. You should have seen Hannah looking miserable there. He was standing all dirty and ragged, whining like a guilty dog. He got on his knees, but he didn't snitch on Petro. He said Petro had nothing to do with it. Great, now the Dobrovolskys know for sure it wasn't Petro's mm -hmm. fault. No, but now we know Mr. Kaluzhny can't choose honest friends. They're losers, just like him. But that stupid henna came to the restaurant in time. Petro was flirting, and I would have surrendered if it wasn't for henna showing up. Too bad you didn't forgive him. Oh, be quiet, all right. Well, now we have a restaurant like in the movies. You're under arrest and you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. Stop it. Olya, please tell us how Anna is doing. She seems to be doing fine. The Dobrovolskys seem to have waited for Anna's pregnancy. Hmm. They surround her with such care. <laughs> and Anna... She has a great job. All right, I'm going to bed. Today was a very, very, very long day. Good night. Good night. Good night. Is your dad home? No, come in. 
Will I just... Are you hungry? As a wolf. Just a second. Here. Make yourself a sandwich. Thank you. There are still kind people. Everywhere. I met Jana this morning. And she brought me food too. And then... In the evening she saved me again. She said she wasn't going to report me to the police. How did you get to be so lucky? Beats me. Hey, Andri, wake up. Do you hear me? Wake up. Are you done already? No, Lesha gave me more work to do, so I'll stay here for a while. Can't she do it herself? She's overloaded with work, too. She's working from home. I have to help her out. And you better go home. <sighs> Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> no thanks, I can manage myself. Go home. I know. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I'm going. But call me. When you get home, please, okay? Mm-hmm. I will. Okay, cool. Bye. Hey. What is it? What's wrong with you? Petya! Petya, hear me out! You bastard! Petya! Don't you Petya me! Get out of my house! You... You ruined my life, do you know that? Petya! You are my only friend, hear me out! A friend? Okay, talk. <sighs> Goodbye. Damn. Are you taking your work home? Yes, I'm tired of sitting there. I'm taking these home. Thank you. Would you would you mind taking a walk? You were right to hit me, Petro. I deserve that. Thank you. Be quiet. No, really. I did you harm, so. It's just right that I'd be punished. Tell me, you stupid jerk. How are you going to pay me back the money that you owe the Dobrovolskis? I'll find a way. I'll show you a way. No, I meant getting a job, a serious job. I will get one. I just need to find a place to stay first. Petro. Please. Don't kick me out. I'll give you everything back. Hmm. And the car, first of all. Okay. Are we drinking to my new old home? So tell me, Petro. I wasn't making up with you. Just can't leave pathetic old friends in need. Oh, here we go again. Go get a room ready, guys. Listen. How are you and Luba? Did you make up? And Luba will be our first toast. Mom, are you making an embroidered blanket for the baby shower? 
Do you remember? Of course I do. You made the same pattern for Dennis when he was a baby. So now, are we going to eat soon? Is Dennis back from work? Not yet. We're waiting so we can eat together. Ah, oh, Mother, do you really think that that fraud is going to pay you back all of your money? We'll see. So guys, what time is dinner? Oh, wow. That's the first time I heard Anna asking for food. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is, our mom-to-be. You'll feel you're eating for two from now it on. It will be ready in a few minutes. <laughs> Boo! <gasps> oh, yes! I'm awake! I... Uh, I was just chopping. <laughs> yeah, I can see you are. You didn't spoil Anna's stew, did you? Uh, of course not! It came out just I right! I will taste and see. Here. Oh! Very good. Tasty! Can you heat? The pumpkin soup, too. Anna is hungry. So oh, glad to hear that. If she has a good appetite, it means the baby is healthy. Tell me, did you feel sorry for your henna? Yes, I do. I'll remind you, if he doesn't give the money back, I will go to the police myself. Jana, I do understand how you could fall for a guy like that. But Jana... Be careful with a criminal. Sha 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 sha. There. A bit more, please. Here we no, go. No, no, that's enough. I can't eat more than of that. Of course you can. This pumpkin soup is just divine. It has no spices and no salt. It's a special recipe for pregnant women. Come on. Eat. Oh? Hmm? Sorry, but I really can't eat this. See, I told you. Quit being so choosy, Anna. The baby needs more of these vitamins. Come on, come on. Hmm? Look. Hmm? I just can't. Yes, you can. We'll keep you company and eat it too. You can eat anything when you have good company. So, go and Mom, eat. We need to put a little salt in here. And for no me too. No way. Don't do that, dear. It's poison for you. At least during the first trimester. Bon appetit, everyone. Oh, wow, we have soup. Zana. I'm so hungry. Come on, All go right. ahead and eat. Mm, this is so good. What's wrong? The dish is perfect. No salt, no spices. Do you know how much this costs in a fancy restaurant? See? <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, eat up. Mmm. It seems like Anna and I only got married yesterday. And now I'm gonna be a father. And it seems to me like you've just told me about your love, Dennis. People miss their memories sometimes, and I'm no exception. I often think about us back then. About what Anna and I used to be like. How I fell in love with her. And dreamt of a wedding. What's the use of these memories? They're gone. How can you say that? Our memories and our past are parts of our life. So what are you dreaming of now? Now? Now all I'm thinking about is our child. The baby's not even born yet, and I already hate it. Initially, I'm very so ashamed excited. of it, but it's true. But and it's I'm all your nervous. fault, sister. I'll be your kid's aunt. Well, all I can do aunt, not mother. Yes, the mere right. thought of it makes me go crazy. Being a good father is a responsibility. <sighs> but you wanted this, didn't you? It was your choice. Yes, it was my choice, so why are you upset? Did I say anything wrong? No, I'm sorry. <sighs> huh. 
Hi, everyone. Hello there, my boy. Den, you missed so much. You'll never guess what happened here. What happened? Vadim caught that fraud and brought him to the house. Really? With the police? No, he did it on his own. Can you believe it? And? Zana and Grandma let him go. He promised to pay them back, and they believe him. Oh, good evening, Dennis. Should I warm your dinner? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Oh, by the way, Zana. Mm. This is for you. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, oh, beautiful. And now, with my promise to you fulfilled, I'm going to bed. Good night. Jana. Thank you. Jana. Hmm? Did you really make him promise you to buy this gift? What's wrong with it? I'm a good cook, so I think it's just Dennis's sign of gratitude. Hmm? Hi. Hello, honey. How have you been? I'm all right now you're here. Mm. If only she didn't make me eat so much of the soup. Who, Grandma? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Zana, too. They cook so much food for me. Well, was it good? Hmm, very good. No salt, no spices. It's so healthy, they said. I know how you feel. Grandma's favorite zero diet, huh? <laughs> one thing, though. Grandma Katerina Ivanivna is right about one thing. We must accept the fact that our lives are going to change during my pregnancy. I'm ready to do it. What should I do? Hmm? First of all, you must come home earlier as your pregnant wife is waiting for you. Promise me that. How can I endure all this? Do I really deserve it? Yes. I... I don't know what to do about this. What happened? Those damn feelings I've been keeping for Dennis, they're only becoming stronger. As soon as I realized that I had lost him from my life forever, they just... I don't know. I know. Please don't. So what should I do now? Go by another name, play the role of the sister which I hate, and pretend I am fine with all of that. I can't do that. I just can't. I understand how hard all of this is for you. Harder than it's ever been. I know how we feel, but it's not forever. It'll be over soon. You just have to tell yourself, nothing lasts forever. It really helps, you'll see. You'll be happy someday. I will never be happy. Do you want me to come over? No, there's no need to. Goodbye.
People miss their memories sometimes, and I am no exception. I often think about us back then. About what Anna and I used to be like. How I fell in love with her. And dreamt of a wedding. Be strong. You have to make it through another day. How could it happen? Who used it? I want to know now. Who used it? Nobody did. It just burned out a minute ago. I told you. That can't happen. Someone broke it on purpose. You did it. Leo, Bob, you suddenly gone cuckoo. I didn't even wash my hair yet. Calm down, both of you. You're acting like kids. Who broke my toys? When will you two finally grow up? Did you say grow up? I'm almost turning 40, and I haven't seen anything except dumplings my whole life. I've never been married. At least you, you have your own kids and your own business. And what do I have? Nothing. I don't even have my own apartment. <laughs> and that jerk who walked over my soul with his dirty feet, it hurts so much. So why do I have to calm down? <laughs> Nobody cares about me or my problems. Or the fact that I see that bastard every day. But I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> Will you please just stop babbling, huh? You'd react differently if I were your daughter. <laughs> Yuba. Yuba. Oh, yeah, no, why does it hurt so much? It's because you love him. <laughs> You're the only one who understands me. I know he's a real jerk, Petro, but I can't get him out of my head. I think about him all the time. I remember one time he asked me if I could go out fishing with him, and he kissed me in the tent. And then suddenly he kidnapped me from my wedding. If he didn't, I would have been married by now. Yuba, did you really want to spend your life with Tolik and his tablet? I didn't. <laughs> I'm just so upset. I trusted him. Uh, and he lied to me. About his son, his record. Everything would have been different if he didn't lie to me. I know that from my own life experience. You think you know the world around you, then it disappears and changes your reality. Mm-hmm. I'm so mad right now. But when I see him, I'll forgive him. How could he do that to me? Jerk. The miserable liar. Yuba, maybe he lied to you because he wanted to make things better. Mm-hmm. The truth can ruin love sometimes. It's not that easy to tell the whole truth about yourself, especially to someone you truly love. Yuba. Oh, Yuba. I'm so sorry. I offended Olya. I need to apologize. You know, Mom will understand. Mm-hmm. Come here. So is Anna working or on maternity leave? I don't really know. She hasn't been coming to the studio, even to just visit her friend. She's just setting you up is all. <sighs> I searched through so many drug addict forums today. All these horrid things I've read. And I've been doing all this work because of her. Do you really think this new host is going to promote you? She's not a big time journalist, just like Anna, and you fell for her promises. <laughs> Everyone in the studio is using me. Anna is also doing a great job, by the way, by being pregnant right now. To tell you the truth, I really thought that they were breaking up after that story with the stolen money. So Anna's really doing great, huh? Why are you so concerned about her? Do you like her or something? Babe, listen to yourself. How can I ever like a chick who doesn't treat my little beauty right? Or me, for that matter. By the way, I might know a dirty story about her. 
What story? Not now. But if I tell someone what I know, she will never recover from it. Tell me what it is. No. Don't ask me about it. Too much information can give you wrinkles. And you already have some of those, by the way. What? Where? <laughs> you are so gullible. <laughs> Hey, everyone. Good morning. Is Olya Valentinivna here? She went to buy some onions. But we have onions. Looks like we don't anymore. How come the chef doesn't know that? I'm sorry. Hannah's arrival just knocked me sideways. Uh -huh. I still get shivers thinking about him. That fraud is just miserable. He promised to get a job and pay everything back. Uh-huh. And you believed him? You knew he woke up today and went to look for a, for a job. You mean... That good-for-nothing lives with you again, huh? I couldn't kick him out on the street. I am so sick and tired of you, Kaluzhny. You've just separated yourself from that jerk and now he's back? All right. That's the last straw. Good luck. Don't expect me to visit you in jail. What are you saying, Lyuba? What do you think? I don't want to see you again, ever. You're a fool and a liar. You're an unreliable jerk, too. Where's that bastard going? You wanted him to leave? So he left. Listen, baby. You have to take after your daddy. You have to learn to play piano. Learn to play sports and be a good student. And of course, to be just a cute baby. All right? Breakfast is ready. Do you see how caring your daddy is? Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> no, to the baby. Do you think it can hear you? Of course it hears me. I have no doubts about that. All right, the baby. And I will join you in a few minutes. I just need to go freshen up, okay? Sure, babe. I'll just wait. Hello? Hi, Anna. Congratulations on your pregnancy. Are you going to the studio today or are you on maternity leave? I don't know. I might come to the office. We'll see. Great. I'll see you then. I've missed you so much. And also, I wanted to give you something for your child. I don't need any more baby gifts. Save it for when Victor makes you a baby. Hey, listen. Um, I just talked to Lily and she offered me a new position at work. Uh, she asked about my past as an addict. And I realized, what if she finds out it's all just fake? I just wanted to get your advice on how to navigate around her. Don't you even think of telling her about the agreement we made, do you hear me? Let's not talk on the phone. Let's meet at the cafe at 2 o'clock. 